This is Harry Judd for Boxing Social with the open workout here in Leeds for Josh Warrington versus Luis Alberto Lopez. Delighted to be joined by Shannon O'Connell. How are you finding the UK? It's obviously a lot colder than where you are back at home. It's like the summer, I believe, in, in where you're from. So today is absolutely freezing, I thought. Yeah, it, it is very cold. And I'm also from sunny Queensland of Australia, so the, the, hot, the warmer part. So, yeah, it's, I'm feeling the cold, that's for sure. Got here yesterday or, or, or last night. You're enjoying it so far? Yeah, Leeds is beautiful. Um, I, I didn't expect it to be as nice as what it is. We've been in Manchester for a couple of weeks, so we got to Leeds last night. It's, it's nice here. This is your first time, obviously, fighting in the UK. Josh Warrington is renowned for having a huge support. We've got the England game halfway through, about 7pm. It's going to be an event like no other. Uh, what are you expecting? What have you been told? What do you know about the UK? Uh, I've been told that, I mean, I, I've been to, I went to um, Canelo Khan, so I've seen what the UK boxing fans are, are, are like. Um, and I've been told it'll be quite an atmosphere and, a, a, like, exciting. Um, they'll all be against me, but that's good. I, I'm good with that. So, um, you know, hopefully by the end of the fight, I'll win them over. Obviously, you're coming back of, what, two major shoulder injuries or surgeries, I've been told. You know, a TKO win last out, but you're going straight in with Ebony Bridges on, on Saturday night. Yeah, I, um, I had a shoulder surgery 12 months ago and then a, a, sec a follow-up surgery uh, nine months ago. Um, but no, my shoulder's all good now, so um, it's probably better than it was before. Obviously, there's huge beef between these two. I don't know if it's on your side or her side, but you know, some of the comments she said about you, she's a horrible human, she's been talking a lot of shit, she's jealous and bitter. She, just some of the things that she said, what are your response to those? Oh look, they're all the type of things that you say when you don't know what to say, aren't they? Like she, she really doesn't know me, we've never met in person, um, it's just a massive clash of personalities. Um, I don't like what she's about and, and she obviously doesn't like what I'm about. Um, I'm, I'm a very real, old school fighter person um, and yeah, so I, I don't really like the way she goes about things but I mean, you know, she's having success and she believes she's doing the right thing so good on her. What have you made of her career so far? I mean, she's making a lot of a big of a name of herself. She's made it home here in the UK. Look, her career on social media and in the public is a lot bigger than what she's done in the ring, that's for sure. Why'd you say that? Um, because she's not for anyone. She She's not for, I mean, the one person she did fight was Shannon Courtney and she lost. Um, you know, she not, she's not really for anyone, definitely at my level. Um, even, even close to my level, she hasn't fought. In terms of her personality, her profile, what do you make of it? Obviously, you know, her, her weigh-ins are, are an event in themselves in, some, in terms of what she wears. I know she had a bit of a, a bit of beef with uh, Shannon Courtney. What do you make of all that? Oh, look, she's she's just about getting eyes, and and to me, they're not the right eyes. They're not the eyes I want on on me or on on the sport. Like, I mean, eyes on the sport's great, but they're not the type of. It's not the attention I want. I want people to respect me for what I do in the ring and what I do outside of the ring, not just to look at me because of what I look like. What are you expecting tomorrow? I mean, she's obviously going to be here in a couple of moments for the open workout, press conference tomorrow. Are you expecting her to put it on you or are you expecting to put it on her? Um, to be honest, it, you know, it's, it's all up to her. If she wants to put it on me, I'll put it straight back because I'm not about social media arguments. I'm real and if she, if she wants to come at me, she'll have someone coming back at her. She's made home in the UK here. This is apparently the home of women's boxing, according to people like Calista Shields. Could we see you over here again and again and again after Saturday? Hopefully in summer. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely, yeah. No, yeah, look, I mean, you know, my, my dad is English-born, so, um, you know, I've always wanted to come here, and I, I'd love to have gone back to where he was from, but, um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'd love to come back. I'd love to, I'd actually love to fight in London. Any final words on her before we see her in the ring this afternoon? Uh, not really. Like, I mean, it's all been said now. Let's just do it. Final thoughts on the fight as well? Had him. Final thoughts on the fight as well. Oh, look, it's going to be a fan-friendly fight. It's going to be exciting. Like, it, you know, regardless of the outcome, who wins, what, how it happens, it's going to be exciting until until the final bell.